Let us begin our celebration of love and thanksgiving in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the joy and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. To prepare our hearts to remember and give thanks, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and for strength. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author and giver of faith, through the preaching of the Word of Christ, you gather the Church from every nation, stir up in us the zeal for the work of the mission, confirm the faith of those who spread the gospel, and grant that the church in our country may always be supported by foreign missionaries and rejoice in sending its own to all the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The outstretched hands of Moses during the Israelites' battle against the Amalekites assure Israel's victory. This story illustrates to us the power of prayer. A Proclamation from the Book of Exodus In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses, therefore, said to Joshua, Pick out certain men, and tomorrow, go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle after Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and her. As long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. But when he let his hands rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired, so they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and her supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains, when shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip, may he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian, the Lord is your shade, he is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. 
The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Apostle Paul asks Timothy, and us, to remain faithful to the teachings of Christ, and to equip ourselves for good work, through our recourse to the Scriptures. A Proclamation from the Second Letter of Paul to Timothy Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingly power, proclaim the word, be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient, convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, discerning reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us open our minds, open our lips, and our hearts to the reading and the living of the Holy Gospel as written by Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? My dear friends, what we heard is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pleasant greetings to you. Last time we talked about gratitude attitude. I thank you for listening to our lesson patiently. This time let us talk about prayer attitude. Specifically, our attitude when we pray for something. Here are some conditions we need to fulfill when we pray to God. First, we should pray only according to the will of God. The first letter of John says, And we have this confidence in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. But how do we know His will? Well, by listening to and acting on the Word of God in sacred scriptures and listening to and acting on the teachings of the church. Well, obviously, when my prayer is not right with His will, God says no. Now, that is an answer, huh? Even when we do not like that answer. Second condition, we must forgive 
other people. Jesus in the Gospel of Mark says, When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against you whom you have a grievance, so that your Heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. Aha! Requirement pala ang forgiveness before we even pray for anything at all. Sayang ang prayers if you don't forgive. Sayang ang prayers if you cannot forgive. No answered prayers baka mo? Baka kulang ka sa forgiveness. And remember, forgive yourself as well. Third, we must pray in faith. The letter of James exhorts us, But he should ask in faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. Believe firmly that God will answer faithful and love-filled prayers. Di pwedeng alachamba or baka sakali at yung nagsasabing wala namang mawawala. These are bad attitudes. God does not listen to these prayers. Also, ingat sa paggamit ng sana or wish ko lang na tila swerte-swerte lang ang attitude sa prayers. Fourth, we must keep God's commandments. The first letter of John says, Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from Him whatever we ask because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. No answered prayers baka mo? Examine your obedience to God's call to love Him and your neighbors. Do we please Him in all aspects of our lives? Do we keep His commandments? The fifth condition to fulfill before praying is this. We must abide in Christ. Jesus says in the Gospel of John, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. St. Paul likewise exhorts us when he says, Remain faithful to what you have learned and believed. Hence, we should pay careful attention to our prayerful and worthy reception of the Holy Communion. Pay attention to our daily communication with and listening to God through prayer. Plus, let us check the consistency in what we pray for. The sixth condition, sin must be pushed out of our lives. That is very essential. The psalmist says, If I cherish sin in my heart, the Lord will never listen. Kaya pala hindi tayo nasasagot ng yes sa ating prayers, it's probably because we have not even gone to confession. When was your last confession? Sacramental confession. Tanggalin ang kasalanan sa ating buhay. The seventh condition is this. We must ask with right motives. St. James states, You ask but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. Let us then examine our motives behind what we pray for. Choose the best motives. And by the way, let us be careful in thanking God for our so-called yes answered prayers despite our wrong or even evil motives. Huwag nating pagbibintangan ng Diyos sa mga answered prayers natin if we are not even in the state of grace. Why? Because the blessings most likely never even come from God. Nanggagaling sa kalaban, pinapatulan tayo. And when that happens, nako, be sure to be burdened by pains, by struggles, kasi na-bless ka ng kalaban. Kukunin niya yan and you will be suffering so much. And finally, the last condition, persevere in prayer. St. Paul reminds us, be persistent whether it is convenient 
or inconvenient, convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. Remember, God knows what is best for each of us. He may say, wait ka lang, or hindi pa para sa iyo yan. Or simply, ayaw ko, kasi I can give you something more. So, do not lose heart, kapatid. Just hang on. Storm heaven not only with your asking prayers, but more importantly, with your listening prayers. And if you experience dryness in prayer or nagtatampo ka sa Diyos because of His silence, huwag kang mangamba. Hindi ka naman nag-iisa. Here are short tips to remember our lessons very well. First, when my prayer is not right, remember, God says no. And He always says no. Second, when I am not right, God says grow. When God is not able to give you a yes for your prayers, it probably means that you are not yet right with God. So check your moral life, your prayer life, your spiritual life. Third, when the timing is not right, God says slow. And fourth, when my prayer my character and the timing are all lined up, God says, go. God's silence is to allow Himself to fully listen with His love. There are no unanswered prayers, my dear friends. All prayers from those who have a relationship with Him are answered. Yes, Jesus Christ does not have hands and feet right now. He relies on our hands and our feet. So, let us be the hands and feet of Jesus to the world. Let each of us be the yes answered prayer to other people around us. May God bless us all. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us lift up to God all our prayers. After every petition we shall say, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our Holy Father Pope Francis, our bishops, our pastors, and our mission societies, continue to proclaim Christ to the world, not by power and prestige, but by humble service. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May rulers and government officials, respect the religious conscience and convictions of their citizens, and see the gospel as a force that ennobles and uplifts the dignity of individuals. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those called by the Lord to missionary work be worthy of this vocation, exercise it without doubt or fear, and find consolation and joy amid the people they are serving. We pray. Lord, Listen to your people. May all of us find real strength in our personal and community prayers, never giving up on daily prayers, as we strive to build a lovely dwelling place for God in our hearts. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Heavenly Father, make us feel more urgently 
the need to pray persistently, patiently, and courageously. You make us realize now that all our worthy prayers are speedily answered. Help us to prove with our lives, our thoughts, words, and actions that we try our best to make our hearts and our world a lovely and worthy dwelling place for your love and peace through Jesus, Lord of Divine Mercy. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given you and hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray now, my dear friends, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Almighty Father, may the church you formed in these islands continue to advance in missionary zeal through this sacrifice we offer to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In love you created man, in justice you condemned him, but in your mercy you redeemed him through Jesus Christ our Savior. Through him the angels and saints sing with joy the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the lights of your face have mercy on all of us we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen coming together as god's children with confidence we call on our heavenly father in the words of jesus our father who art in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come you will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and do not allow us to fall into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the love and peace of jesus be with you always and with your spirit let us joyfully offer each other the sign of love and peace Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus grant us healing and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Anis vivus et vitalis, hodie proponitur. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things. and i desire thee in my soul since i cannot now receive thee sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart as though thou wert already there i embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee permit not that i should ever be separated from thee amen let us pray Lord may this Eucharist help us to remain faithful may it teach us the way to eternal life grant this through Christ our Lord amen Saint Michael the archangel defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may God rebuke him we humbly pray And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, We fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer our prayers. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the abundant spiritual blessings you bestowed upon us. 
We are grateful as well for the material blessings no matter how abundant or scarce they are, for our stewardship. We pray in your mighty name, to break any evil seals and consecrations, curses and spells, unholy ties, links, evil relationships and bondages that had been cast to, made over, or forged through the material and monetary blessings we receive, own, and keep. Help us remember that these are given for your glory and for the greater service of the Church and of humanity. And we ask you to bless all our relationships. These are yours, O Lord, and we submit all these under your most glorious authority. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need, to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus, that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now, to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times, to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other, see us through this crisis, and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these, through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, loving and serving the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon.